must appreciate the purple. Not exactly sure what this is, but my sister would say it's a beauty berry. Because those berries are very beautiful. That collection of purple surrounding the stem. Dancing in this wind. is one very large great blue heron. Again, sunlight dancing in the water for us. The wind is blowing pretty hard off of the Everglades here. These 15, 20 miles per hour steady. Oh, the heron is looking at us. He knows. She knows. We are appreciating her existence. up on the levee. I looked down into this one pond just off of the uh, levee there and noticed how clear, making clear this water is. I'd be even more excited if I saw fish. But right now, of the water. I just happened to look down and see a purple heart fine catching my eye. I had to share that with you with its cute little purple flower. And again, Thank you, MSE, for teaching me to pay attention everywhere. So we'll just watch the water flow over these very lovely rocks. As you can see at the edge of the water, all of the shells centuries old. Oh, that's a big one. I have to look at this one. Oh my goodness, look how big this one is. Wow. Look at this one. Of course, we're on a national wildlife refuge, so I will not be able to take this with me. But I wanted to share this with you. Beautiful design. The whorls. Left handed twist. Evidence of the levels of the water it had been lying in. A little bit of a water plant growing inside. Who knows who else is up in there? But I will lift you back into the water where I found you and again be able to appreciate what I see where I see it. Well, that was just, oh, that was just wonderful sharing that with you. That was not planned. That was just nature and serendipity. And the grasses.
These grasses remind me some of our MSC suggested practices. Souls rooted in the ground for support and remembrance that we are where we are. So that whatever is blowing against us, pushing us, encouraging us, cajoling us, or caressing us, whatever it is, whatever it is, we endure. that beautiful phrase about the butterfly never sees her wings, its wings. These flowers obviously don't know how stunningly gorgeous and breathtaking they are. As they are caressed by the wind, embraced by the sunlight, and appreciated by the pollinators who visit and passers by who stop. a lesson for me for sure and not only time to take and appreciate what I'm seeing and experiencing but appreciating myself and my messy practice here feeling the sunlight on my skin and my eyes feeling the breeze being conscious of Whether anyone else notices or says anything, because I know my value, know my worth, know my gifts. Yet another opportunity to appreciate sunlight passing through these leaves. I believe it's a cocoa plum. I don't see any red leaves yet. They get red closer to Christmas. But the sunlight glinting through, almost making the green a yellow. And I am walking down uh, one of the levees I had not previously visited. So let's see what we can find out. What we have here is a volunteer sea grape tree normally appear in this wildlife refuge. This is actually, I think, the first one I've seen. They're quite common in South Florida. They do have some berries. And I'm old enough to remember the show The Flying Nun, Sally Field, way back in the early 60s, where she gathered the berries to make grape juice, and of course, we ended up getting a little tipsy. We have this sweet, brand new leaf emerging on the stem, glistening with newness. I hadn't seen a whole lot of birds in there. 
This one popped up on the edge. Let's see what we can do. Ah, oh, you can see her feathers blowing in the wind. Maybe just thinking about where we're here at Anthropomive. Anthropomorphizing this bird. But she may be seeking a nice edge to the into the water and to her prey. Eats fish, shells, shellfish as well as bugs. Let's see if we can watch her for a few minutes and appreciate the sunlight on her feathers. in there wriggling still. Maybe that's just a 